Um, you know how in uh, some religions, um, actually many religions, they, they talk about the Messiah coming back? Like, I think Christians talk about Jesus coming back, Muslims talk about Mahdi coming back. Um, is there any truth to that? In, in the same way that we were having the discussion about inner being, in other words, that's, that's what all of that is about. Source expressing in the manifestation of that which you are. Mm -hmm. But humans take things literally. Mm -hmm. In other words, mm -hmm. first of all, they don't include themselves in on the receiving of it. They make it someone outside of themselves. Yeah. Give all the responsibility. Imagine it as being one when that Christ consciousness or that Buddha consciousness or that source energy consciousness, it is on and on and on and on and on is reflected through each and every one of you, you see. Yeah. And so it's not a second coming. It's a never ending coming. Yeah. It, so it's not like a physical same person coming back. Well, the thing that's interesting about it is that here you all are being born and every now and again, someone is born like Esther, here she is with Abraham flowing mm -hmm. through her that's and right. it would be easy to make her out to that, but please do not do that. In other words, you, you are all, you are all extensions of source energy and source energy is flowing through all of you. And every one of those individuals who were tapping in and aligning with the energy of source so that they were able to express it in a clearer, pure way than most around mm -hmm. and following their experience. It was always distorted because no one can, can express it as it is, as, as we are having this experience together, we're having really meaningful co-creative experiences. You are all in on this discovery of leading edge conversation. Do you realize in the three hours that we've been playing together so far, how much leading edge understanding has erupted as a result of our co-creation, you see? But when you go forward and try to explain it to someone who was not here, who was not part of the process of the co-creation, you will give a watered down version of it. And when they repeat it to someone else, they will give a watered down version of it. And by Thursday, it won't make any sense at all. <laughs> they say. And so when you're talking about these religious religions that had their basis hundreds of years before anyone began even writing it down, where it was just almost folklore that was passed on and added to and, and distorted and commented on and, and sometimes not deliberately distorted, but sometimes deliberately distorted in order to make a point that someone wanted to make. In other words, you have nothing in your historical documents from any religion whatsoever that is worth anything to any of you because it wasn't written for you. It wasn't said to you. It wasn't about you. You are living day extensions of source energy and each and every one of you has access to living day source energy flowing through you it's what your guidance system is is what your emotional guidance is is what we talk about all day every day and every one of those individuals who you want to revere as masters and we're all right with that if you want to is saying to you through the modern day revelation is saying to you through your impulses and through your understanding that here you are alive now listen to what is coming now and we're not saying listen to us now we're saying listen to you now we're saying listen to the guidance that comes forth from within you you see mm -hmm. when you talk about the the grappling with the issues of religion we want to say religion is toxic in most cases because re first of all just because almost every religion it's a rare one that is otherwise says every other religion is inappropriate which right away puts them completely out of the vortex and not in touch with whatever their religion once was mm -hmm. and so what religion has become is a, a groups of people, large groups of people, most out of the vortex, all, all trying to find their strength in numbers to pressure others to agree with them about something that they are clearly insecure about. That's right. In other words, if they were not insecure about it, they would leave you alone. You see. And so your issue with religion can be easily resolved as you accept that you have spirit within you mm -hmm. who is aware of you adoring you ever available to you ready to participate with you in the most magnificent and what some would call insignificant of ideas in other words never not not saying 
uh, when you come up with a good idea worth my time call me but saying each and every thing that you want to contemplate we are available to participate with you in the fullest way that you will allow for the satisfaction of your creative moment in other words that's spirituality worth contemplating we are not after those religions in other words we're not pushing against them we're just acknowledging that people are looking for God in all the wrong places people are looking for love in all the wrong places and once you get a handle on what love feels like and you lean in the direction of it then you find yourself not pushing against those who don't understand but wanting them to discover the deliciousness of understanding and not trying to make your brand of understanding the one that you want them to find in other words we're not wanting to call them all here there we we want them to find the path of least resistance for them but what we wish for each of them is the ease of releasing their struggle mm -hmm. and it it doesn't happen very often in religion they just get more bombs <laughs> Um, we, um, we're told that um, Prophet Muhammad. They can't hear you. Okay. We're told. They don't really want to hear you. Okay. <laughs> Should I go ahead or no? You can, yes. Okay. Um, uh, I was we told are told that the Prophet Muhammad uh, meditated for many years before he got his inspiration. Um, it's, usually, it, it's usually the process. Okay. Is it the same same process like as precisely? The, yeah. So when when. We, when I, we were told that all the verses of um, all the verses of punishment and hell came does that mean that he was out of the vortex when he received that kind of inspiration well the thing that's interesting about that and we were explaining this to you earlier that there is nothing that you have in your current tomes or texts or Bibles or or that is anything close to what was originally translated or given okay in other words okay. everyone who played the game along the way Jerry and Esther have 11 books translated in most of them into over 30 languages mm -hmm. and there's not one accurate translation of one book okay. Okay. because there are not words that express the way we mean it in every language because the interpreters are putting their own biases in and misunderstanding what is meant okay. and Esther for a year or two drove herself out of her mind with the concept of it and then realized that it's just part of every other process it will be what it is and people will get from it what they get from it and everybody should be tapping into their own source anyway okay 